Like we mentioned earlier, stretching the auricle is an important step to better diagnose the patient. Take the allergic area for example. We will need to stretch the auricle and prop up the scapha to see it clearly. We can see the area turning white when we stretch the auricle. Therefore, we can determine this patient is prone to allergies. If the scapha still appears concave under finger exposure method, it means that the person does not have an allergic constitution. This is the key area to determine if the person has allergic constitution. Many diseases like rhinitis, asthma, colitis, skin disorders, and purpura all have allergic factors. People can be allergic to alcohol, certain chemicals, and even some foods. Therefore, we will use this area for anti-allergy and boosting the immune system. This is an area best diagnosed with the finger exposure method. White and swelling are the most common signs in this area. In acute allergy, you will find the whole area turning red. For skin allergy, you may also find disquamation at this area. It takes some time to treat with herbs, allergy. We can facilitate the detoxification with auricular medicine. You may examine the patterns of allergic disorders like allergic rhinitis. Your treatment this year will help decrease or prevent the symptoms from coming back next year. The allergy won't get worse or become full-blown again because we have boosted the body's own immune system and detoxified. Pay attention to the direction of how I stretch the article when examining the stomach here. When you examine the gallbladder, I'll change the stretching direction to a 45 degree angle lateral upward. To examine the liver, I'll stretch the article almost just laterally. In this picture, we stretch the article laterally to reveal the shape of the stomach area. This way, you can distinguish the stomach from the liver and gallbladder. It's not the kidney because the kidney is further away at the junction of the inferior anti-helix cruise and helix body. Therefore, we will stretch the article in different directions based on which part we're examining. Utilizing the finger exposure method, you can see the specific area clearly like the stomach area in this picture. It looks like it's white for sure, but does it look swollen to you? Indeed, the stomach is white and slightly protruded. The protrusion is not the obvious. It looks like the size of the a soybean. To examine the lumbar area, focus on checking the line separating the white and the red color. The cord-like protrusion here indicates muscle injury. It marks chronic deformities of the muscle fibers. I would therefore diagnose this to be low back pain due to soft tissue injury. Tracing the spine line, you'll find the sacrum, lumbar vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, and cervical vertebrae. Again, finger exposure method is very important in auricular medicine and diagnosis. I'll elaborate more on the line separating the red and white color mentioned earlier. You'll find the white area and then the red area. The scapha, spinal line, and the paraspinal muscle all look fine because the line is very neat and very nicely curved. However, as I stretch out the auricle and prop up the area, there's a piece of red discoloration with irregular shape. There are the stomach and the duodenum at the area. It's likely to be duodenal bulb inflammation. The line of this patient's left ear looks clear, so meaning the spine and the muscles are pretty healthy. The person is actually fairly healthy as the intertragic notch looks smooth and free from deformities. The endocrine system is healthy. It is a smart person with pointy antitragus. The clear brain line can be easily identified. The liver and gallbladder area looks fine as well. There's no enlargement of the liver and gallbladder. The spleen area is good as it maintains its concave feature. The person should have regular bowel movement. The sigmoid point looks pretty smooth. Urinary system, kidney, ureter, bladder, and prostate all look fine. The triangular fossa looks pretty good as well. The helix looks neat and the person should be free of gout. You rarely find healthy ears like this. There is no groove of hypotension, coronary artery disease, tinnitus, or missing teeth. No grooves. The arteries are supplying adequate blood supply to the brain. The person's vision is fine and free from myopia or astigmatism.
The heart is healthy as it maintains its concave feature. Lung, trachea, and mouth all look fine. This is a very healthy ear with not too many deformities, even after carefully being examined with the finger exposure method. This ear is not the case for obvious swelling is found when the article is stretched.